Dziękuję. 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 Od dołu, od dołu idzie światło i tu są ponawiazane dziureczki w tej środkowej. One wchodzą z prawo i w lewo i do tego światła tak pokazuje. Georgian food and Georgian hospitality friendship is simply outstanding. Ania, to jest granat. While you're watching all of these beautiful uh, pictures, I want to add something. On the picture, me sitting with the Tarion, and I see the small bag next to the Tarion. This uh, bag was stolen in the plane. Uh, when Tarion woke up, he had his insulin, his medication in it. You know, and then. Okay guys, I'm just working on uh, uh, the new video and put more information about it right now. Okay. Now, for anybody who has uh, the questions or problems that I decided to show beauty of Georgia and uh, not really concentrate on technical issue, it is because I am this way. For me, human being, his health, prosperity, and uh, even good humor is more important than everything else. The device, the machine, yes, it will change the world. But you can build the device 10 years from now or yesterday. You cannot return the life of the human being. Now, additional information. So what's happened was that uh, uh, I explained in the first video that uh, when I was flying uh, to Georgia from Prague, I felt start to feel bad. I don't know the origin of it, but at the same time, Tariel started to feel bad. Of course, I didn't know about it. And uh, then uh, I had to clean up my stomach the, the military way, if anything happened, uh, by forcing myself to empty the stomach with the two fingers in my throat and uh, drink a lot of water. Now, the Tariel uh, was feeling very bad, but he ate only 10% of the food that I have ate. And then he was exactly in, in, this, uh, in the same condition. But this is the strong man. Anyhow, the condition of the child worsened and worsened. He got a professional help and worsened. Now, uh, yesterday, on, uh, there was a doctor in his place, and uh, they tried to uh, do some medical treatment for him. And of course, he has a people around him. He is not a rich man. He needs help. Well, he promised to the world that he's going to do whatever guys you expect him to be done. At least, I would say, he mentioned it at least 15 times. Now, when I came back from... Now, I, I want to add that the Georgian authority and the Georgian people are extremely kind at a high level of European standards. So don't listen to anybody who may try to criticize that. I showed that on my video and I proved that on my video. Now, soldiers, police officers, custom uh, workers, anybody else are extremely friendly to American and uh, to values of American. And I have no doubts about it that whatever happened to me happened from the outside the world, not from Georgia. I want to make it clear. Now, additional information. When I came back from Tbilisi uh, to Prague, I was extremely tired. I came probably two minutes, the most, two and a half minutes late to the checking. And they told me, we are close. 
So they forced me to stay another 24 hours and I was in uh, the airport. Of course I had an internet over there. <clears throat> they gave me for some unknown to me reason internet for free and uh, with full access to Skype, email, anything I wanted to. And I had my files on my computer. Now I don't want to tell anything else. You might probably uh, clear up your mind to the point of understanding what's going on. Now, when I came, at, uh, came uh, to the checking, I wasn't even uh, contacting anybody. The lady crossed the line uh, in front of me and she said, you better be waiting. So I didn't interact with them, they interacted with me at first. Then I was waiting and waiting and waiting. The time was passing by. So I went to the first uh, available clerk and he uh, asked me a few questions, security questions. And uh, he then, with delay, sent me for, uh, to check the luggage. And I said, I'm not claiming any luggage, I'm keeping everything with me. But the lady asked me to put my suitcase on the weight so she could know exactly the weight of it. And then I was told that I have to immediately go to the certain gate and to certain place. Okay, so I uh, said, no, no, I don't like it. I was sleeping in the airport, maybe something is planted. I went and checked my luggage, nothing was there. So it was like, okay. Then I rushed exactly the way that they told me, they put the stamp on my passport, and they asked me to go upstairs. I went upstairs, I was waiting in line. The time is passing by, but the people are in front of me and uh, 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 from behind me. One man approached me with a friendly advice, uh, you know, I'm gonna buy something to drink. Could you just watch my luggage? I don't know if they wanted to, to have my fingerprints, whatever. The guy didn't show up, the line was moving, so I used my foot to move his luggage. He came in, I went to the line, and when I was at uh, the, the gate, I was approached again, and they looked at the sticker that I have on my passport. They told me that I'm going to a uh, security checkup. Okay, I'm gonna show you how, how this, is, this is how the tarot looks like in the plane. Okay. He was simply sleeping after I came back from the bathroom. The end of the story is that <clears throat> they touched me in any possible place. They could eventually touch me, check me up, empty everything that I possibly uh, had, and then I couldn't hold it. I start to protest. When I start to protest, then the situation was rapidly changing. They start to be afraid. I said, you gonna guys have a big problem. But they took me to another level of, of security. Uh, of course, before that, I stated that I want to have a total control over my luggage all the time. All eyes of mine should be on it. Okay, that's... Okay, no TV, no, no, no picture taken. I was nervous. Uh, okay, that, that was the time okay. when I start start okay, start. Are you allowing me to take the full control over, over my luggage? Uh, you uh, allowing me to take a full control uh, over my luggage? Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, now. Uh, finally, they took me to an empty room when there was another machine, and they uh, took everything out. And they then I say, okay, you didn't find anything. Can I go? Well, yes, you can if the plane is still there. So I said, okay, they're trying to, to, to buy the time. And I started to protest again for my rights as an American citizen and my rights to fly. And finally, I was allowed to go to the plane and the plane was, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes late. Like, I don't know, maybe somebody was, was contacting with somebody. Eventually, I fly away and I came back safely home. There was no problem on the American side. Now... Is it that conspiracy theory? I'm not claiming any conspiracy theory. I'm just relating what's happened to me, trying to get to beautiful Georgia and the beautiful people of Georgia and coming back safely to the United States of America, the land of freedom and liberty.
This is uh, the device. There are two light bulbs. Is how many watts? Sotki. Sto. Sto watts of each. Sto watts of each. Here is the tushka. And this is the light bulb. Вот. Не надо трогать лучше, не надо ничего, все равно может развалиться в любой момент. Хорошо. Можем со старта Now we see the device for it. It is giving the light and it's working. Okay. So, this is the device. Подождите, секунду. Секунду, секунду. Да, да, да. There is nothing to do, only the ground, the ground wire. Слишком не тяжелые не все, потому что это все очень на фуфу собрано. Сам понимаете, за один вечер собрать такое? Да. Я не включил. Окей. This is how much the Toyo decided that he's gonna show to the people. Okay. This is the wire, and the, this is the only one wire that goes. To the ground, and this is the ground. Okay, you see the heat, there's no other wire, and this wire is only one wire. Mass. Massa. Okay, it's a ground. Okay, so all I was allowed to see, я буду говорить по-русски тоже, то, что я был разрешено мне было видеть. Это устройство в таком виде, как видите там.